The new Apple TV with Siri Remote is finally here and I show you the easiest way to get it set up using your iPhone. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to Bleeding Edge TV. I'm Eric Webbers. This is the show that brings you tech news and reviews through the EdgeGearLive.com. And today, I'm showing you how to set up your brand new Apple TV. This is the Apple TV fourth generation released here in 2015. It's Apple's reimagining of television and it comes with the Siri Touch Remote. First things first, you gotta get it out of the box. Be sure to check out our Apple TV unboxing that we did. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll put that link in the description. If you have an older Apple TV model, you're gonna wanna disconnect that, which I do first, and then plug in your new Apple TV and let that get booted up. Once you boot it up, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is pair your touch remote. And that's easy enough, just press the menu button and after a couple seconds, it'll be paired. Now from there, you can continue through setup using the Siri remote, but it's much easier if you have a recent iOS device. Here you see all you have to do is unlock the device, make sure Bluetooth is turned on, and hold it near the Apple TV unit. And once it recognizes the device, it asks if I wanna use it to set up the Apple TV, and I say yes. From there, my Apple TV grabbed my Wi-Fi credentials directly from my iPhone, so I didn't have to type those in, and then asked me to enter my iCloud username and password, which I can do on the phone itself, and it'll send that over to the Apple TV. If I turn on location services, you'll definitely want to turn on Siri because that's one of the main features of the new Apple TV. And here you see you can turn on the aerial screensavers where Apple has those beautiful screensavers of different cities. And we'll download about 500 megabytes per month. I went ahead and turned that on. And then diagnostics, app analytics, and terms and conditions said yes to all that. And there we are, all set up with the new Apple TV ready to take in the content. And there we are, we're at the home screen, ready to head into the App Store and download those apps for the new Apple TV. And that's it guys, super simple. Again, if you have an iOS device, you wanna use that to set up your new Apple TV. Otherwise, you're using the Siri remote to hunt and peck to use the on-screen keyboard and it's not a fun experience. Now remember, we're gonna be giving away two of the new Apple TV right here on the channel. We're gonna start that giveaway on November 4th, so be sure to keep it locked right here. In fact, if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when we put that giveaway up. Plus, in order to enter, you're gonna have to be subscribed anyway, so might as well just take care of it now, right? Thanks for watching, guys. That was your look at how to set up the new 2015 fourth generation Apple TV. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Are you picking one up? Let me know that. Do you use a different set top box? Do you just use your game console? By the way, be sure to hit me up on Snapchat, username Drew, so I see, where I bring you a behind the scenes look at what goes on here at Gear Live every day. And hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Or if you didn't like it, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. I don't care, just let me know either way. Helps me know what kind of content to bring you guys going forward. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Andrew Webers, and I'll catch you in the next video.